she's running, but I don't know why. Excuse me, why? Good evening, DC. Uh, I stopped by uh, my uh, favorite antique store today, Sugar Bears. I uh, came at a great time because the lady there said that uh, he just restocked. So, yeah, I found some pretty cool stuff. Um, yeah, this is a great little store. Uh, there's a couple booths that have records, and one guy is uh, actually uh, keeps uh, recycling his stock and uh, adding new stuff, and it's pretty cool. So yeah, I went out there, picked up uh, four records. First one, glad to get this one back in the collection. Black Sabbath, Live Evil. This is the uh, Mob Rules Tour. Um, at this point, uh, Black Sabbath were Tony Iommi, Geezer Butler, and uh, course Rodney James Dio and they had uh Vinny I think it's Vinny yeah Vinny Apice on drums and Geoff Nichols on keyboards yeah um this is a great album I actually saw this tour in Columbus Ohio in 80 I think it was 81 but yeah this is a fantastic the uh the album cover these are all uh, Black Sabbath icons We've got the uh, the uh, paranoid guy there. We've got the mob rules um, uh, zombie. We've got the war pig. You got the uh, neon knight. I think that's that's on here too. And you've got the angels that were on the uh, Sabbath Bloody Sabbath album. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And. Uh, yeah, Rodney James Dio was on fire. I had this on uh, cassette. I think I may still do have it on cassette, and I loved it. Um, you know, it's uh, half the uh, old stuff and half the stuff with it. They put on uh, Dio and Mob Rules, and it's just great album. Um, let's see, next I picked up this one. I found this quite odd. I picked it up. I'd never seen this version of their greatest hits, the King's Greatest Hits. This is a Canadian pressing. There's a label right there. Um, the back of it. I haven't heard this yet, but uh, this is this has a uh, Lola on it. Um, their other greatest hits album that they have. That was under this uh, title uh, doesn't have Lola, so this is I don't know. It, it's uh, it's not very rare apparently, but uh, I picked it up anyway. It looks like it's in good condition, so yeah, I got it. Um, next, oh yeah, Judas Priest, stained glass. Their second album, I believe. Yeah. This is a great album. I didn't have this, so I picked it up. In great condition. The uh, corner's a little bit dinged up, but uh, the vinyl is fantastic. I paid six bucks for this, so yeah, it's uh, it's worth more than that on. Uh, uh, you mean marijuana? Yeah. <clears throat> you know. Um. And last, I found this album. I didn't think I'd ever stumble on this, uh, but yeah. Am I doing this again? Coliseum. For, well, the title is strange. It's for those, oh no, it's those who are about to die salute you. What does that title sound like? It sounds like the ACDC album, kind of, but this is Coliseum. I don't like the title of the album, but this is great. It is a uh, psych prog jazz fusion. These guys were in uh, Graham Bond's band back in the 60s. Um, and they were also in uh, John Mayle. It's 
it's on uh, Dunhill Records. Um, yeah, this is a live album. If you like, uh, it's kind of like Hawkwind too. A lot of it kind of sounds like Hawkwind. Um, now this live album is basically uh, the album Valentine Sweet, only it's live. It's, they're almost identical. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I kind of like this one better actually. But uh, yeah, uh, Coliseum. If you like that uh, prog jazz fusion stuff, uh, you will like that. I was glad to snag that. I didn't think I'd ever find that, but uh, yeah. And this this guy, uh, this band was led by uh, oh, what was his name? Um, John Heisman, who was the drummer. John Heisman. He was the one that was in uh, um, uh, Grand Bond. And despite Heisman's name, uh, the man never won a Heisman Award. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. Uh, uh, those four records, cool finds. And uh, I will figure out. Uh, Come on, man. What are we talking about? Come on, man. I'll figure it out somehow. What's the lotion on its skin or else?